so it is February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, and I am back here at Albion. I haven't been here since almost uh, last year, around the same time in February. And uh, it's a completely different site. Actually, if what's behind me would have been where one of the pillars stood, now there's just nothing left. It's, uh, it's just completely demolished. There's still obviously a side back there behind me that uh, that's still up but soon will be taken down so uh let's look around some more and see what we can't find at the Albion Paper Mill in Holyoke and today it is February 16th and there's a lot of weird noises around here. Uh, February 16th and um, it's a lot warmer than it was when I first came here. So um, just gonna look around see if, see what else has changed if anything. Try to get into the basement but um, holding out hope for that. Uh, demolished by a fire, at least this part was, and uh, the rest of it was knocked down. As you can see, all the brick and rubble. There's a tunnel system underneath it, currently, what I'm standing over, as you just saw. <clears throat> but every entryway into it is barricaded, or the stairs drop off it's almost impossible to get in and just looking at some of the parts that have sunken in outside um, it's probably not a good idea to go in there anyways because uh, it's all exposed to the elements and it's just it's just caving in on itself so it's just beautiful to see though it would have been better to see it whole but it's still quite a sight. So it's, uh, it's very cold out here, obviously. So uh, there might be a little bit of a camera shake because my fingers are freezing. But this is uh, part of Albion. And uh, this is kind of where I, uh, where I came in. This is, this is what's left. It's just, uh, it's just completely changed over here.
Alright, I am in the basement of the Albion paper mill, or what once was the Albion paper mill. As you can see, there's a lot of fog that's coming up from down here. It's not smoke, it's not a fire. It's uh, everything that's down here is very cold, very wet, ice everywhere. And because it's so warm out at 65, that cold air is being sucked out of here and it's creating a lot of fog around it and it's really, really cool, but uh, this place is falling in on itself. Right through that area is actually where I, uh, I came through and where I'm standing here is where I would have to go around this U-shaped, oops sorry, this weird U-shaped thing behind me. Um, I actually had to go around it that way. All of this was uh, still covered by what was left of the back half of Albion and uh, now it's just completely demolished and uh, it's really kind of crazy. But much like all these paper mills back here, sorry, and a couple inches of snow here. And these little bunkers, I don't know what they're actually called, but inside these is where they uh, they held a lot of the, the dyes that they use for papers. And much like the other paper mill that I went to here in Holyoke, actually right down the road, uh, Norman Paper Mill, they had multicolored dyes, but in this one, they uh, they don't have any different colors in them. It's all just, it just uh, it's just kind of barren, but very interesting. It's, uh, it's very disorienting being out here because um, I know what it used to be like and I came here quite often and it's just completely different from what it used to be. It's kind of hard to, to navigate because everything just looks so different but as you can see behind me there's still half of Albion left <laughs> and you can see where some of those spray paints kind of falling off. I just tried to walk across that and that is Boeing a lot worse than what it was the last time I was here so I'm not going to go any further. It doesn't look like much has changed in there. They haven't torn this side down yet but it's going on its own as you see the wall directly across from me is completely falling apart and has fallen. It's pretty, uh, it's an interesting look. No, this is not a concrete slab.
is toilet paper. I hope this does uh, the, the building and the history here a little bit of justice because it's really a beautiful place and I'm assuming in the next coming months it's not going to be here anymore.